Okay guys, welcome back. This is uh, part one of the Origin Easter Eggs. Um, no, sorry, step one, part B. And uh, this is going to be about the fire stuff. Now, this was very difficult to record, so I had to do a few things as like pre, um, pre-determined, you know, getting it ready for it. So this piece um, is from a plane, which is just one of them planes with an orange glow around it and that only appears when it's raining and you have unlocked the main area, so the big outside area. There will be a plane in the sky that is glowing orange, you simply shoot it down and um, you will get that piece. And uh, it will land always in the same spot which is just there next to the back punch. So once the robot has moved out of the way, uh, we are going to pick this piece up and that is going to be piece one. Now the second piece will come from the claw zombie or the panzer, and uh, wherever you kill him, he will drop the second. Uh, he'll drop the second piece, and this is where I killed him. So here is the second piece. Now the final piece um, is over in the church, and it is in the uh, challenge chest that you get for turn one generator six. So I will see you there, guys. Welcome back, guys. We're at generator six. Uh, you want to pay to turn it on and um, just avoid all of the zombies. So avoid, 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 avoid. Don't get trapped in by any of them. You can walk around this uh, this blue section. Uh, now because I've had more people join my session that are no longer alive, and it's a technology for me to capture. And um, the fire will always, no, sorry, the piece will always be the headpiece and that will always come out of that chest whenever you capture generator six for the first time. And it will stay there until um, you pick it up, so it won't be spawn. Okay, that turns off, that lifts up, and there is the headpiece. Now let's grab the headpiece. Now we have all the pieces. Okay, now um, the, we'll turn down the game volume in a minute. Um, the fire disc, or sorry, or the red disc for the fire star is located in three, two places. One, it'll be leading up against there. Um, the second place, I really hope that doesn't crush him. No, it doesn't. And uh, the another spawn is just here, which is how it spawned for me. And the final spawn, I, you're unlucky if you get it in the spot because you have to move the tank to get it. It's leaning just up against this wooden box just there. Um, so there you go. There's all the fire uh, pieces. And uh, the fire shrine is uh, the first door north. First door north in spawn. So I'll see you in spawn uh, to show you the location. Of the tank. Alright guys, so like I said, take the north door out of spawn, not the east spawn, and make sure you pick up the music graph again from where you put it down last, as I forgot again, so I have to spend a bit of time getting that back. Uh, once you get it, so make sure you have the music player and the fire CD, uh, come to this shrine here, and uh, the door will open. Went inside again, same as before, go to the red pillar, and then um, pick up the uh, the crystal. Now, if you use a different portal, the pillar will not be open. Uh, let's have a look. Well, I can place the fire, I can place the stuff through the wall in the way it's there. Right, there you go. My crystal. The other ones aren't open, the pillars are closed. There you go. See? I've taken that one, but that one's closed. You have to go to the right portal. Right, so um, once you do that, go back to Pack Punch and um, build your stuff. I'll see you there, guys. Okay guys, so when you're a pack punch, uh, obviously quickly go down and uh, build the right staff on the right podium. Now I'm going to be building fire staff, and that is uh, step B, oh sorry, part B of my guide. So um, stay tuned for uh, part C, uh, step one, and um, we will be building, I don't know, one of the other two staffs. So I'll see you then.